It's Independence Day and we are back in Krishnagiri at Ola's Future Factory. Last year we were here to check out the updated S1 Pro and a few more models. This year we are here to see Ola's first electric motorcycles including this one. This is the Roadster and this promises to be a slightly premium take on a commuter motorcycle and I will tell you everything about it in our first look video. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to Car and Bike and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Now come with me as I talk you around this motorcycle. So the Roadster is loosely uh, based on the Roadster concept that we saw in 2023. It derives a few styling cues from it, but as you can see, it is quite a different motorcycle. Up front, you will see it has this uh, rather cool looking headlight unit. It has a twin pod element built, built into it. This is an LED headlight unit with a horizontal LED strip right above it. Uh, this look is synonymous with Ola electric scooters and now we've seen it being carried over into the motorcycle. You see these standard telescopic forks on the bike, a uh, four carbon fiber finish for the front mudguard. The wheels, these are 17 inch wheels, as you can see five spoke alloys with a diamond cut finish and there is a disc brake at the front. There is also this red pinstripe which adds some character to the motorcycle. When you come over to the side you will see it has these tank extensions that sort of extend forwards and down here where you would usually find the engine on a combustion motorcycle this is where the battery pack is housed so this is a double cradle frame and within that cradle you will find the battery pack of this motorcycle you can see that the rider foot peg is over here up top you will see the seat sort of starts from where the fuel tank would be on a regular motorcycle and then stretches all the way back it's a single piece seat and it has this red contrast stitch another important point is this hollowed out subframe which again adds to the character of the motorcycle the pillion foot pegs are back over here slightly higher up here you will see the instrument cluster so this one has a 6.8 inch tft screen this is a touch display but we cannot turn on the motorcycle right now we've been asked to switch it off at the moment so we can't really touch and i can't even get on the motorcycle but just by the looks of it you can tell that it's not particularly tall and the seat height should be fairly accessible even for shorter riders now come with me to the back once again you will see the same five spoke alloy wheel design 17 inch wheel here and there is a rear disc brake this motorcycle will have anti-lock braking and over here is the led tail light with led indicators Overall, if I were to talk about the powertrain, this motorcycle will be available with a choice of three battery packs. So you have a 3.5 kilowatt hour unit, a 4.5 kilowatt hour unit and a 6 kilowatt hour unit. Now the top model with the 6 kilowatt hour battery pack will have a certified range of up to 248 kilometers is what Ola claims. The top speed of this bike will be rated at around 126 kilometers an hour. And Ola even promises that this will do 0 to 40 kilometers an hour in somewhere over two seconds, which should make this reasonably quick. Just to put it into perspective, this is more powerful than a Torque Kratos, which was previously seen as a slightly more powerful commuter motorcycle. Now to talk about the prices, Ola has given us introductory prices for the Roadster today. The prices will start at 1 lakh. 5,000 rupees for the three and a half kilowatt hour model and go all the way up to 1 lakh 40,000 rupees for the six kilowatt hour model. Now on the face of it, this does seem like a pretty interesting proposition because you do not find any two wheeler with a battery that big at that price point. Ola tells us that deliveries of this motorcycle will begin early in 2025, but pre-orders are open now. We know Ola has not been able to stick to its deadlines in the past. So it remains to be seen if this motorcycle really will hit our roads at the start of next year. But what do you think about it? Do you think this looks like an interesting proposition, possibly a real alternative to a petrol motorcycle in the 125 to 150 cc range? And what do you make of the pricing? Let us know in the comments section. If you enjoyed watching this video, if you found it informative, then please make sure to like it and share it with your friends and family. And for more details on what else Ola showcased today, head on to carandbike.com.